Hey guys, what's up? This is Kyle here. Um, want to do a little quick segment. Something new. I just want to try. You guys let me know what you think about it. Called what the what grinds my gears. Uh, just got a little few things. Want to get off my chest. Some things. Um, you know, kind of. I won't say bother me, but a little bit er, ner a little bit um, nerve wracking um, to, to me a little bit. So I just made a little short few a few things. Just a just a couple of things that uh really grinds my gears. So uh, I'm gonna go for the most simplest thing. Now, one thing that kind of grinds my gears, and one thing I don't think anyone will ever know why or the reason, and that is how come when it comes to hot dogs, there's always a package of eight dogs in, in the package of hot dogs, but there's six bonds in a bag of hot dog buns. That doesn't make sense. Six bonds, eight hot dogs. That's, uh, that's off. I mean, once you're done eating up six hot dogs, you up six buns, you have two hot dogs left over, but you have no buns to put your hot dogs in. Uh, I mean, I don't know about you, but with me, I like my dogs on the bun. That's how it was meant to be. That's how it should be. But, I mean, literally. Um, you know, some people take a regular slice of bread and put a, put a hot dog on that, but to me, it does not defeat. Um, it's no better than a bun because a bun was made for the hot dog, and the hot dog was made for the bun. So it goes... Hand in hand, fits like a glove. So, um, you know, I don't get who the hell thought up of, you know, when the when the man who made hot dogs and brought out the package of hot dogs that come out and ate, I don't know why the man who made the hot dog bonds thought, hmm, the guy who made the hot dogs, the package just comes in eight. Hmm. So let me make some buns and make six. I mean, literally, his math must have been off, he must have been illiterate, he must not have done very well in school. Anytime he comes up with a package of six bonds when the hot dogs come in packages of eight. So, you know, I figure, you know, if it's, if it's ever, if time travel was ever possible, the one thing I would do is go back in time, find the guy who came up with the idea of putting a package of six, six bonds in a bag and teach him something else. Because uh, six bonds, when it comes in a package of eight hot dogs, it makes no sense whatsoever. Second thing that grinds my gears is when it pertains towards YouTube. Now, one of the things that kind of pisses me off with YouTube is this. Say you'll have a video, okay? You have one particular video that's been on the YouTube website for like three to five years, okay? It's gotten like tons of thousands of views or even a hundred views, whatever. But you like it. And the video's been on YouTube for three to five years. Nobody's touched it, anything else. The moment I take that video and I put it in my favorites list, a day or two later, I go back on my favorites list, and guess what? The uploader of that video, their account is suspended because the video that they uploaded was caused by, you know, trademark infringement or some other bogus bull, bull, bull crap BS that YouTube gives for an excuse. That kind of pisses me off. Because you mean to tell me this one particular video that's been on YouTube for years and years, nobody's touched it, you haven't touched it, speaking of YouTube, YouTube hasn't touched it, they haven't blocked the account, uh, 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 account for uploading the video, the video didn't get flagged or anything else. But the moment I take that video, after it's been on YouTube for five years and nobody's touched it, I take that video and I put it on my favorites list, you want to have the nerve to suspend the uploader's account or, or block the video for trademark infringement? Are you freaking kidding me? If you didn't block the video three or five years ago when the video was on YouTube, don't block it now as soon as I put it in my favorites list. Absolutely makes no sense. It grinds my gears. Another thing that YouTube does that also kind of pisses me off, well, it really doesn't pertain to YouTube, but towards some uploader's account, account holders. They will upload videos, okay? And the videos that they would upload, it will have nothing to do with copyright infringement, it would have nothing to do with promoting or selling, selling anything, nothing that goes against the guidelines and rules of YouTube. They will upload the video on YouTube to share with the community for like two or three days, and then after like a few days, they'll pull it back and have the video make it private. Why the hell would you upload a video, okay, to share with the YouTube community, only to pull it back and make it private like a few days after? What's the point? If that was the case, you should have just made it private in the first place. Why are you making it private now? Are you, like, secretly jacking off to it or something? I don't know. But to me, I hate when certain uploaders do that. They upload a video, and like I said, 
and it will have nothing to do with like trademark infringement or anything to go up against the guidelines of YouTube. They'll upload the video to share with the community, and then they'll make it private in like within a week's time. What the hell? It pisses me off. Secondly, the thing that YouTube does, this video is not available in your country. What the hell? I thought YouTube was a multi-international form of media. I mean, I should be able to watch something from the UK country. I mean, a video, somebody from the UK that they upload a video from. I mean, just absolutely freaking gay. Second thing that grinds my gears about you, another thing that grinds my gears about YouTube is, you know, when YouTube had this whole revamp thing, they revamped the website and all this other junk, and how on your own home personal page, they gave you the option if you want to keep your own regular page or if you want to switch to the new updated version. Well, guess what I did? I kept my old original version. Now, a lot of people, they could, you know, you know post up different wallpapers in the background to customize their own page, making it their own style, their own unique thing. However, mine was simple. It had a black, black background, but with red bold letters. My two favorite colors together, black and red. So I was cool with that. I'm like, okay, thanks YouTube for the option, but I choose to keep my own thing. Well, guess what? A month passes by, I upload a video, and come to find out YouTube automatically switched my, uh, my personal YouTube page. What the hell? What happened to giving me the free option and choice? I'm glad you gave me that free option and choice, but I choose to stick with my own personal YouTube page design. Okay? Why upload to this upgraded crap, which to me is not really organized like the original page was. It's absolutely terrible to organize and get through. Secondly, you can't customize the dang thing. Only, I think you can probably change like the colors or something like that. But you can't really organize it, and you can organize like the little tabs. But that's gay. But anyway, this is YouTube. I don't want it. I don't want my YouTube page to look like to look like my freaking Facebook page. It makes no sense. And on top of that, you changed it without my permission. After which I chose not to change it. You chose to change it anyway. That really grinds my gears. Now another thing that really grinds my gears. It goes hand in hand, and that is. Justin Bieber, okay? Now, Justin Bieber, um, to me, he really grinds my gears. The reason why is because I, find, I can't even fathom and just find it unbelievable that this kid, who was 15 years old at the time, like two and a half years ago, makes a few videos on YouTube, makes two records to date so far in his, in his music career, and he has more money than all the adults here in my household. I find that completely ridiculous when all the adults here have jobs and everything else. I mean, really. And for all you little beaver believers out there that says, You're just a hater of Justin Bieber. You're jealous. No, I'm not jealous of the kid. Obviously, God gave him the gift to sing, so use what God gives you. And I'm not to say, I'm not to say he's not supposed to make money off of his gift. But still, I just can't see what's, uh, what's the point. He, to me, he's not that great of a singer. He looks like something that came straight out of a. He looks like he looks like a Barbie Ken doll. That's what he looks like. He looks like a Barbie Ken doll that came straight out of a fat toy factory, or something that came out of Twilight. That's what he looks like to me personally. His voice is okay, but it still sounds like he's going through puberty, which is something he should have gone through when he was 14 and 15. He's 18 now, and he still sounds like he was still sounds the same like he did when he first came out with his first album. His songs to me are just twenty bopper bubblegum pop. Um, it's just, yeah, it, it's crap, um, personally. But, you know, like I said, I'm not hating on the kid, but like I said, it does become a little bit discouraging sometimes. When you look at a kid who's four years younger than you are, here you are working a job, going to school for your career, which, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not really bummed out about it because I know in the career that I'm studying, the film I'm studying again, I'm, I'm going to make some money off of it. But yet and still, you're going to school, you're working a job full time, and here you have this kid who makes like 20 videos on YouTube, and then the next day, he's like a multimillionaire. That is like just, wow. That's just like, it's bogus. And what connects me to this, another thing that grinds my gears, is today's music scene. Music absolutely sucks, especially in America. That's why I listen to a lot of foreign music more so than I did American. Very few American music is what I listen to. If I do listen to American music, it'll be from underground artists who, like, you know, stay on the YouTube and MySpace scene, but they make demo tracks and stuff like that on, uh, on iTunes. But other than that, mainstream music absolutely sucks in America. Everybody sounds the freaking same. Everybody has a mediocre voice. 
Everybody has the same thing, song material. All talk about sex and drugs and drugs and sex and whores. I mean, really, no offensive ladies out there. But still, not saying all ladies are whores, but you get what I'm saying. They make all demeaning music and all this other crap. I mean, seriously, come up with some new material here, people. What happened to the times when people made good music, quality music, about love or heartbreak or about, say, uh, 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 love or heartbreak or talk about the problems and things that are happening right now in this world? And sure, some of the young, younger generation, which I'm saying I'm not old, but still, some of the younger generation may say, well, it's a different time, but it's, it's a different time, so it's a new. It's a different thing, and different, different, you know, things of music and different kinds of music. Well, yeah, it's a different time, but guess what? Those topics still are absolutely crap. When you talk about a freaking song that's talking about banging one chick today on Monday, get high on Tuesday, bang another chick on on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday you chill with the boys, Saturday you smoke and bang a chick at the same time, Sunday you rest, Monday you repeat the same process also all over again. It's completely utter trash to me, and music's not quality. Nowadays, in today's music, music is probably hot for about a month. After that, you drop it, and you pick up the next hot thing. Music in this generation is not timeless whatsoever. When you have artists like Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson, uh, the, the, the Temptations, um, Usher, some of Usher's older things, Alicia Keys, their music are timeless. You can, play, you can still listen to their music 15, 20 years later from now. Is anyone going to want to listen to a Beyonce, all oh, my single ladies, all oh, my single ladies, 15, 20 years from now? No. Why? Because it absolutely sucks. So this is just a little quick video of a few things that I think that grinds my gears. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, if you, like to, if you would like me to make more, and if you found this video entertaining. Leave your thoughts in the box below, and like I said, if you want me to do more of these videos of what grinds my gears, give your thoughts about it in the box below, and do yourself a favor and subscribe and hit that like button. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.